All right, well, as you saw just uh, moments ago, we watched Rick debate and his defense team, including his attorney, Trent LaLima, walk out of uh, the Superior Courthouse here. A pretty good indication that since they're going home for the day, jury deliberations have ended. They were supposed to cut those off at uh, 5 p.m. Jury deliberations got underway at about 2.30 this afternoon, and that was after a very long day inside the courthouse of closing arguments from both sides, which each lasted about an hour. And uh, following those closing arguments, that's when the judge delivers final instructions to the jury before they begin deliberating. He charges them with all of their duties and responsibilities, but certainly a very emotional day inside the courthouse. Verdict watch in the murder trial of Rick DeBate, accused of killing his wife Connie just days before Christmas of 2015 in their Ellington home. That something like this would happen two days before Christmas, it's the most heinous, awful thing. On this day, closing arguments, the defense tried to poke holes in the prosecution's timeline, pointing out that there are six pieces of unknown DNA from the murder scene. Rick DeBate claims a masked man took he and his wife captive and shot and killed Connie. But the prosecution says evidence on Connie's Fitbit tracker shows she was still moving around an hour after Rick said that she was dead. I think the prosecution did a fantastic job. I think that the whole, the FBI with the digital footprint and the Fitbit specialist from Columbia University, I think it's irrefutable. But it's been a long trial, 22 days, more than 150 witnesses. Long trials sometimes can mean long deliberations. I'm hoping that it's a quick verdict and I hope that it's in, you know, goes in the favor of Connie's family and I hope that the kids can find peace. And long deliberations can sometimes mean surprising verdicts. This trial was supposed to be held back in 2020, but was postponed due to COVID, and a second jury was then impaneled. I think this guy has been riding the tide of COVID. And, you know, this has been the best thing that could happen to him was that there was COVID and it delayed it because he's been out for six years, scot free. And something that's been very interesting throughout this whole trial, since Rick DeBate was able to post his $1 million bond, he's been able to walk freely in the courtroom hallways, going to get lunch, get a snack, talking with uh, people who are here to attend uh, the case, just adds a whole other layer of emotion to everything that's been going on. During this uh, trial, Rick DeBate himself did take to the stand, and he admitted that he lied to investigators several times uh, and ended up admitting that he was having an affair at the time uh, of his wife's uh, death. Prosecutors have tried to say uh, that DeBate uh, tried to stage the murder scene. DeBate has continued to say, however, that he and his wife Connie were tied up and that she was uh, killed by a large man wearing camouflage. So again, uh, jury deliberations set to continue tomorrow. We are on verdict watch here. Uh, they only deliberated for a couple of hours today and moments ago, as you saw uh, on our air, we just watched uh, Rick DeBate leaving the courthouse with his defense team, a sign that things are wrapping up for the day here at Rockville Superior Court. We're live in Vernon, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.